you know, what, one of the things I'd say is I'm slightly restless. I think I'm not content, which is a driver. It's also a dangerous thing if you're not content because you always want something else. I'm John Radaisky. I'm a partner at EY, a global professional services organization, and I lead brand and marketing there. Probably the thing that drives me most is having a big challenge where I can go and make an impact. One is making sure you give them the freedom to create and that you defend the ideas that they have and that trust that you build in you will shepherd their ideas. Creative people have an instinct for an idea and they have a belief in their head of where the idea can go that you might not always see. I think if you get the right talent around you, then you trust that they will add something that you yourself cannot do or cannot see, but will come out the other end. I believe I can, but it doesn't mean to say I'm always right. <laughs> I remember working with a creative director years ago who said to me, John, you're probably right, but I'm paid to be a bit more right than you are. <laughs> it's a profession, creativity. It's a learned skill about taking a brief, turning it into an idea, crafting it. I remember years ago on a, on a client, it was an alcohol brand, and they said to us, we want to be bold, daring, and different. And of course, we turned up with a bold, daring, and different creative idea. But the definition to them of bold, daring, and ours was completely different. I think you learn from the agency world, going to the client side, on how to brief an idea, nurture an idea, defend an idea, actually. You know, a lot of the work that my organization does is we're paid to be 100% accurate. But I think creativity, by its nature, you never quite know what the final product will look like. Whilst there might be things that I'd change along the way, I kind of feel somehow I've ended up in the right place. You know, I've always thought it's such a privilege to be in advertising marketing. We, we're all gifted with the privilege to influence the next generation. And I think that's probably the biggest responsibility we have is how are you shaping your brand, your purpose, your authenticity in the world that will inspire a next generation.